I recognize you from last time? Yeah, I actually have a photo of you on my phone. Um, I took it on my iPad, but I like sent it over to my phone. Yeah, I can pull it up. Yeah, so do you want me to continue with your portrait? You know what I just noticed? You have the mustard stain on your shirt still, like for real. I guess that's going to be a part of your final portrait because I keep everything ultra realistic. Yeah. I told you before you have to wash it properly. It's the same mustard stain. I don't know how that ended up happening again. Yeah. Okay, let me just put my phone away. Let's see if I have you in the system. I might have to re-enter you into the system. Yeah, you're here for the portrait painting session. To have you down, it's owing me two thirds of the price. Two thirds. You have one third paid. Yeah, I keep tabs on this. Somebody didn't pay. Okay, can you smile real quick? I need to take a new photo. Thank you. Okay, so what's your name again? Um, no, I don't remember your name, honestly. <laughs> yeah, um, if you can just spell that for me. Okay, you type that in. Oh, I've never heard that name before. That's a nice name. I mean, I did hear it from you before, yeah. You know how it is, like, forgettable names and people and such. Not that you're forgettable, but, like, just in general, I, I see a lot of people to do portraits of themselves and their pets and stuff like that. I have a lot of business. Yeah. Okay, let me just type in your date of birth. Can you give that to me again? Oh, okay. That's a nice birthday. What about your email? Do you have, like, an email account? It's like this thing on the internet. Yeah, you do? Okay. You have one? Okay, just one. Oh, hot mail. Hot mail. Okay, that's a good email. Yeah, everybody uses that. Okay. Let's just put that in. Okay. Backspace. Okay, so I have you in the system from before. Um, do you have somebody I can contact in any case of emergency? Okay, how do you spell that? Oh, that's nice, okay. Um, yeah, just because you're gonna be sat here staring at me for many, many hours for the foreseeable future to get this portrait done. Um, yeah. What's their email address? Can you tell me? And their phone number, please? 666, six, six. okay, yes, okay. What's their email? Can you give that? AOL. AOL.com, okay, got that. Okay, so that's everything checked off in case of an emergency. Because I don't want you to blink for a long time. And sometimes people have to be taken into the hospital. Okay. So, I'm just gonna set that down. Um, I have your sketch here. Everything looks good with that. I'm gonna just set it there. It's already set up so I can refer to that. But I like to look at you lots so I can get this very, very accurate. Yeah, so. I know you don't like, like, the side profile, but that's what we decided on for your final portrait. Because you put that in the website, remember? So I'm just going to do the underpainting. I kind of already painted the canvas with, like, a beige, you know, just as the underpainting. 
but I'm going to continue to do the underpainting, you know, block out where your face is going to be. You do have some bags under your eyes. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm still keeping them there. It's very realistic. Remember, my focus is hyper-realistic, um, so anything that's there, any imperfection, I'm just going to accentuate. Yes, so I think that's not your idea of hyper-realistic. Okay, well, if you read my website, my description, I'm an artist who studied in France. Um, for about five years, yeah, I went to a school somewhere in France, yes, um, you know, it's like a very private school, so I don't really feel comfortable telling you where, but it was so beautiful, it was like the countryside and stuff like that, yeah, um, so I'm just gonna map out where your chin is. Right there. And your neck. I'm just gonna put that there. Now you have a few like freckles on your face. Do you want me to add those? Just kidding. I was just testing you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you thought that I could get rid of the freckles. No. I know that this is art and I can do what I want, but that's not what I want to do. Yeah, so, have you seen examples of my work on my website? Yeah, just a few. Do you think you can, like, look to the side a little bit more, like, over here, and kind of, like, put your hand, like, in your hair, kind of, like, like, behind your ear, um... Because I'm really, I really like how that looks, like the, you know, like you're on the phone kind of look. Yeah, that's what I think would look best with your, your face structure. I think, yeah, it just looks great, like kind of touching your hair, cupping your ear a little bit. Yeah, I think that's, I think it's a really good look. Um, it's my vision for you. If you can stay posed like that, please don't move. Um, sometimes you lose blood flow to your hand from having your hand up for so long like that. But it's gonna be worth it, okay? I don't know about that. You want me to add Linda? Linda, you know, you didn't pay extra for some somebody else to be added to your portrait, and they're not here. Yeah, you were gonna have her come in for a separate visit. I could do, like, a different portrait, like, on a different canvas for Linda. Yeah. Just not on yours. It's a little bit, um weird to ask to add somebody like when we're so far in and I only have a canvas for you I like to make it realistic like the size so this is going to be the size of your face okay I'm just kind of doing your cheekbones right here to here that's where I'm painting I'm just going to paint very gently Oh my gosh, I have to get more paint on my paintbrush. You know. Okay. But this paint lasts a long time. Don't worry. I use, like, paint thinner. I use a lot of paint thinner on this. So it kind of spreads easily on the canvas. It's kind of like mud. I have like this face mask. Um, it's 
actually really nice. Um, it's like mud. That's what my paint reminds me of. Because it glides so effortlessly. Yeah. It's very fancy. Do you think you could, um, look up at the sky? Like, completely tilt your head up and I want you to look at the sky. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay. Actually, I need to take a picture of that. If you could just stay there and pose for me. Look into the camera, please. I'm trying to get my phone to take the photo. Okay, I think I got it. It's a little bit blurry, though. Do you think you can stay still? Like, you're moving around too much. Okay, I think I got it this time. I just... Yeah, that's pretty good. It's high resolution. Alright, let's keep painting. I like to incorporate different poses in with my portrait. So it's not just one pose, it's like multiple poses within one image. It's actually really brilliant, I've been told, when I was in school, yeah. It's a brilliant idea. I copyrighted it though, so you can't do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Just need to add a little bit more detail to your hair. You have interesting, interesting bangs. The way that your bangs are cut are like zigzag. I kind of like that. I'm gonna make sure I get that in there. What's your favorite color, by the way? I feel like that's something I should have asked you as I'm doing the background. You thought I would do the background like in real life. Why would I do that when I can like change the background? You know? Yeah, I have like total control over the painting. I can paint the background any color that I please. It doesn't have to match in real life. Yeah. You want me to lighten up your under eye? I'm personally against that. And I'm actually shocked that you would ask me to do such a thing. Like, what do you think? This is not, like, a joke to me. Okay, do you think I can... Can you raise your eyebrows for me? Because I really would like an expressive look for this portrait. I truly believe it's going to win a lot of awards. I actually have to um, do more detail now because I'm pretty much done with the underpainting. Yeah, so I'm going to move on to a smaller brush. Just a little bit smaller. Okay, let's get some paint. Okay, that's good. So I'm gonna do your eyebrows now. You have really cool eyebrows. I like what you did with them. It's an interesting to go out. It's an interesting way to go out, you know? How you brushed your eyebrows. It's, um, it's quite the look. That's what I like about you. Why you're such a memorable person. Okay, let's see if I can get the fluffy bit of your eyebrow, like right here and right here, um, to show through on the painting. It's very important. Um, you're not raising your eyebrows high enough for me. For my taste in art. I really like an expressive look. Okay, that's much better. If you can stay like that, that'd be nice, like completely raised. I also want to incorporate the, um, yeah, the wrinkles in your forehead. I really like that look. I love that concerned look. Because not too many artists actually capture that style, that pose. Like, do you ever see people on a magazine with that expression? You're not really into magazines. Well, like, I'm not either, but like, you know, when you're like at the grocery store checking out, you see some people in the magazine. Do you ever see them like that? No, right? You have? 
Oh, you haven't. There's no way. You're probably just saying that. But yeah, this is a very delicate process. Do you think you can smile a bit for me? You look kind of upset. You look a little bit sad, actually. I'm sorry. I don't mean to upset you with my weird poses and stuff like that. You know, I'm sorry if I'm scaring you. I am. Okay, I feel bad now. But can you smile for me? Like a big smile. Because I kind of like that big smile, but with the like, concerned look at all at once. It's an expression that not many people um, do in real life. My art is very hyper-realistic, so I like to capture that. Yeah. That looks good. I like how you did your hair today. Um, I'm just gonna change up how your hair looks. Um, it's a little bit too messy, to be honest. So I'm just gonna freshen up the hairstyle. Uh, you spent hours doing your hair like that today? Well, maybe I'll keep a few of like the, the wisps, the wisps that you have going on there. Kinda brush, 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 brush. I'll keep that going. But yeah. Now I'm gonna move on to your eyes. Okay, let me see if I can get my small paintbrush for you. Do you think you can put these eye drops in your eyes for me? They actually bring out the color in your eyes. I saw them at the grocery store. I thought they'd be perfect for you. Um, let's see. Oh, here they are. Can you put these in your eye for me? They have a little bit of um, stuff. They have some stuff in them to bring out the color. Yeah. I'm not sure what it is, but it kind of like irritates your eyes in such a way that really makes them pop, you know, like that color. So I can really see the color of your eyes. Because I prefer dimly lit settings for my paintings, but it makes it so I can't see your eye color all that well. I know that I wrote down your eye color in the sketch, but it's just not cutting it. Yeah, if you could just put those in your eye. They're safe, I promise. I had a few other clients use them. Um, yeah, but they're totally safe. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna use... What paintbrush should I use for you? That one? You totally don't know what you're on about with these paintbrushes. They all look the same, don't they? Seriously, they all look the same to me. I'm always, like, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. Okay, I think this one. This one is for your eyes. And just gently... I'm gonna start drawing your eyes. Painting your eyes, rather. You have a really nice eye shape. Yeah, I really like it. I like your eyeballs, your pupils. Very nice with those eye drops. Really enhances the redness in your eye whites. You know, it really makes your eyes red. Which I think looks great in a painting. Because not many people have red eyes. Um, so I'm just gonna paint a little bit extra red. Okay. That looks good. Okay. 
So where did you say you were going to hang this painting up? In the dining room? Oh wow, that's a nice spot actually. So everybody can see it at dinner parties. I don't know, I feel like it's a, it's a statement piece. My art is definitely a statement piece. Do you think you need to stop blinking? You're blinking a little bit too fast. Yeah, can you like not blink? I told you not to blink at the start. That's why I said you have an emergency contact, okay? So I'm just gonna that. This is very serious. You would like to add somebody else as an emergency contact? <laughs> Are you actually scared that you're gonna need an emergency contact for real? Like, I say that kind of as a joke, but like, actually a few people had to call their emergency contacts. Like, I had to call them for them because like, they couldn't see, but like, I think it was just, <laughs> I think it was an issue, you know, like a them problem. Like, they might have pre-existing conditions. Yeah, so, did you say you want to add somebody else? Okay, let me get my iPad thing. One sec. Okay, um, what's their name? Do you want to add Linda? Ooh, okay. Linda. Well, this actually works out because then I can call Linda up and like email Linda about doing the painting. Linda, how do you spell Linda, by the way? L. I N D A Linda 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 What's Linda's last name by the way? Just so Linda doesn't think I'm a scam artist. Yeah. That's an interesting last name. I like it. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Can you get me Linda's middle name if Linda has a middle name? Um, Linda's date of birth, okay. Yeah, that's good, okay. What about Linda's social security number? I'm just kidding. Um, but do you have that? No. <laughs> that's probably good, okay. What about the email? Okay. That's good. Is that a AOL? AOL. AOL.com. Okay, enter. What about her address? Okay. <laughs> That's a nice address. I might call Linda and send her like one of my pamphlets. Can you stop blinking so fast? It's just gonna hurt your eyes more. For real. You shouldn't blink that fast. It's bad for you. Okay, Linda. I'm gonna email Linda right now, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think Linda might be excited about the idea of a portrait half off because of a referral from a close friend and client of mine, but close friend of Linda's, not mine. You're not my close friend, sorry to say. Um, I don't really know you that well. Um, yeah, anyway. Do you need like a paper towel or something? Cause like, all I have is like this silicone scrubber. Do you want to like wipe under your eyes with it? You could have it in case. I don't have any tissues, unfortunately. Okay, Linda, Linda. Would you like a 50% off offer from your friend? I typed your name for you. Um, I'll actually send it a photo, just so she knows it's real. I'm gonna enter that. Okay. So now I can paint for you. Look at painting if you would stop blinking so much. Uh, okay. Let me just rinse my paintbrush. Okay, let's, okay, let's take a deep breath. your eye. Okay. 
drops keep your eyes open for me. These eye drops are actually meant to keep your eyes open. They have like um, it's like a film that it leaves on your eye, okay? It's much like the eye doctor, actually. I have a cousin who um, is like a technician or something. I forgot her title at the optometrist, I don't know. She like does something. That's pretty cool, right? I think she probably puts eye drops in people's eyes. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just gonna finish. Do you have... Like, how long are your eyelashes? How long would you say? Because I'm not sure if I have a fine enough paintbrush for your eyelashes. I kind of like the chunky Bratz dolls kind of eyelash look anyway. So I think I'm just gonna do that and it's gonna look like eyeliner, but it's eyelashes, okay? So we're just gonna do that. That's perfect. Okay. Um, I did it in purple. Because I feel like it suits your eye color better. Maybe the red and purple. Um, but yeah, anyway. Let's continue with this bigger brush. Okay. So, do you like to wear mascara because I kind of added some yeah I just added a little bit in the painting just because I feel like you could use it to be honest but it's purple like I said before it's purple it's the newest thing I saw it on tiktok I'm just going to continue doing the background before I get too far into like adding more detail to your face. So I feel like your face doesn't really have that much detail in it. Like in all honesty, like when I look at your face, it's like that's a that's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's just you have a really nice face. Like just clear of anything. You have some detail, but not that much. Like it's not hard for me to do because I'm like really good. Anyway, I like a very simple look. I like that. Okay. Do you think you can smile? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not even working on your um, smile anymore. I'm just working on the background to be honest. But I just like to see you smile. You know. Cause you look so sad otherwise. Yeah. I feel like it's nice to smile. You know? It's nice. It's a nice change of pace. So we're just gonna keep painting, 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 painting. I'm just gonna paint down here a little bit. I think I totally messed up something. Oh my gosh. I forgot to draw your shoulders. It's just like you have a neck. And it's like very long. <laughs> I just realized that now. Okay, we're gonna fix it before the paint dries. I'm just gonna draw here and your shoulder. That's good, okay. Okay. What does this say? Interesting. It's a really high quality canvas. Um, it's imported. It's imported from a place far away. Um, yeah, it's fancy. It's not from France. No, it's not from the school that I went to. It's a private school, by the way. Just letting you know. You will never find it, even if you looked for it. It's that private, like they don't even have any technology. Yeah, 
They hate technology. They hate social media. Yeah. Do you have social media, by the way? I didn't think so. I think. Never mind. Now it's just your email is a little bit outdated. What? My phone is not outdated. I think it's your email that's outdated, to be honest. My phone has been working for like over 10 years. I don't know what you're on about. It's a good quality phone. I even have a game on it. Yeah. Um, I think it's Flappy Bird. No, actually, it wasn't compatible with my phone. Yeah, unfortunately. I don't know what game it is. I forgot, but I play it sometimes when I'm bored in the doctor's office. Okay. Do you think you can, like, frown for me? You're, like, smiling way too much. Like, why are you smiling like that? Like, you're making at me, like, like that kind of smile. That's, like, a weird smile. Okay, can you, like, frown? I'm drawing over the smile with a frown. Because, like, you turn that smile upside down, you know? You know, as the saying goes. So we're just gonna do that. I like the overlapping look of things. Like, it's just so beautiful. How you can be happy but sad at the same time. It really shows, it shows a lot about humans in general, all of our expressions. Um, yeah, I actually, I took AP art in high school. Yeah, so I know a lot about, I actually didn't take AP art. I was like in the class where AP art was happening in a different class, but there's only a few people in my class. So they like merged classes, it was weird. Um, and sometimes I would have to like um, participate in the judging of people's art that were in the AP art class, but I wasn't actually in the AP art class. It was intense, like they would have, they'd have like really in-depth things. They would say, they'd be like, oh, this is about like some issue in the world, like trash. And they would like, I could tell they would spend so long on it and I felt so bad because my teacher would have us each say like two bad things and a good thing about it and I was like ah like your art isn't that good but I like the idea but the execution of the art was bad or something like that but like I never said it like that but she would get mad at me because I wasn't mean enough you know um so I think interesting let's let's keep painting your face okay let's just put some blush on here even though you don't have much blush we're gonna do that right there but they just knew that I was um was beyond AP art I was that good at the art my teacher told me I would be amazing at art my entire life yeah, it's a true story. So I'm just gonna add some shadows to your eyebrows. I like to make it look like your eyebrows are super fluffy and like there's a shadow cast from above because since we have the light above you, yeah, the light is above you, um, directly looking down, I like how the shadow cascades on your face, like from the light being here and then you see like all the shadows like on your under eye. I really like that look. Yeah. I'm just gonna add some more depth to your under eye. I feel like I didn't add enough shadow. Yeah, okay. I need to get it like a different brush. One sec. Okay, I'm gonna use some of this this um paint palette knife thing. Let's take some of the off of the palette. Alright, let's see, I just need to get more paint. I'm gonna take like a big 
amount of paint and just smear it on your under eye area. And that's gonna be the star of the show. I really want this piece to um, show your your emotions, really. Yeah, like how tired you are, how run down, how your expressions are just all over the place. And it shows how chaotic your life is. What do you do for work, by the way? Yeah, what do you do with your day? Okay, I'm just gonna get some more paint off of this palette. If I can get enough off of here, I really need to scrape. Gosh, okay. Let's see. Smear that there. I'm gonna add this for your hair, by the way. life isn't that stressful. It's not stressful enough to be this expressive. Yeah. I honestly, I feel like every life is stressful. Like, no matter how stressful, stressless you think your life is, I think it's stressful behind the scenes. So I'm like capturing that. By the way, you're not going to have access to this painting. about, I would say, 10 months, simply because the paint has to dry, but also because I'm going to enter it into an art exhibit. Yeah. Yeah, in Utah. Yeah. Actually, no, I think it's Iowa. Utah or Iowa? I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to mail it to them. And when they're done with it, I'll tell them to mail it to you whenever the show is over. The prize is like $15 for my category, so I'm hoping that this piece will win that. Um, if you could just... Can you put on these glasses for me? Yeah, right here glasses. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Can you put them on? I really like the orange. I think that needs to be added. Okay. I'm just gonna put... I love the square frames on you, honestly. Can you stop blinking, by the way? I'm looking at your eyes properly. with that. I'm gonna take a sponge to it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this sponge. It's a very coarse sponge. It's a dry sponge. And I'm just gonna rub it. Tap it where your hair is to add texture. Okay, that's good. That's plenty. I think we're just about done here. I'm gonna finish it up when you're not here because I feel like you're judging I didn't really draw your nose. Like, I didn't paint your nose. I kind of forgot about that part. Like, I'm sorry, but I'll just paint it now real quick. Do you want to see it? Actually, I'm not going to show it to you till it's done. So, let me just... See if I have your phone number in my phone. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's in here. I have like this button that tells me all my contacts. But sometimes it doesn't pop up. It just chooses not to. Oh my gosh. You know these, these phones. You know how it is.
seem to get the button to work. I'm gonna check my iPad. Maybe right there. Oh my goodness. This really is stressful. This was like a really intense painting session. Okay, so I have you in the system. I'll email you a photo and you won't see it for about 10 months. And after the 10 months, I'll see you here, okay? Thanks for being here. Um, I, I would happily do a portrait of you and Linda together. Um, so if you want to take a photo of some of my art as an example to show Linda, you can. So this is what I do for a chicken. This is a chicken. This is a flower. This is a piece of cake laid on its side. Okay. So if Linda wants to see some examples, here's some examples of my art style. There you go. So yeah, very impressive, right? This is in watercolor. I prefer to paint in a mixture of watercolor and oil paint. Um, you know, I like how the water kind of like doesn't go with the oil paint. It's just a good look overall. Like I like how it repels each other and that's also like another statement in and of itself, you know? Um, would you like a hair clip, like a barrette? I have this one here. It's a little bow. You could have it if you want. No? Okay. Well, I'll see you next time. Thanks for being here. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day or night, whatever time of day it is for you, wherever you are, and I feel like this was a super stressful video. I don't really know. I was just winging it the entire time. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I broke character officially. Um, but yeah, self-spoken. I haven't recorded many videos in self-spoken, and I feel like I sounded extra sassy in this video. Maybe because it's in self-spoken. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> um, thanks for being here, and feel free to check out my other videos if you haven't already. There's like a video um, before this, but anyway, thanks for being here, thanks for listening, you're well. Okay, bye, 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 bye. I don't know about that. You want me to add Linda? Linda, you know, you didn't pay extra for some somebody else to be added to your portrait and they're not here. Yeah, you were gonna have her come in for a separate visit. I could do like a different portrait, like on a different canvas for Linda.